just going to make a brief statement. As most of you, I think, know, Judge Penny today, after a hearing, decided to agree with Britney Spears, and as of today, effective immediately, the conservatorship has been terminated as to both the person and the estate. This is a monumental day for Britney Spears. It's also a somber day for me, for Britney, and I think for a lot of us who have been following conservatorships and how they operate. This conservatorship was corrupted by James P. Spears. James P. Spears, as we all know, from public records, public records, took anywhere from three to four million dollars from the estate. He took a salary from the estate. He took a percentage of his daughter's earnings from Las Vegas and otherwise. Many people have asked about whether we will continue to investigate Mr. Spears. The answer ultimately is up to my client, Brittany, and I'm not going to get into it beyond that. I've also received a lot of questions about Brittany Spears' business manager, TriStar. And my comments are going to be brief about TriStar. All I will say for present purposes is this. We were forced to issue two subpoenas to TriStar Sports and Entertainment because they wouldn't voluntarily cooperate with Britney Spears. That is why we issued subpoenas to TriStar. Rather than voluntarily complying with those subpoenas, TriStar refused and they filed a motion to suppress those subpoenas and suppress information that Britney Spears has requested. The most notable question that we've asked on behalf of Britney, of TriStar, is the following, a very simple question. How much money did you take from the estate? How much money did you receive from the estate? TriStar, and I'm not drawing any conclusions right now, but you can draw your own inference, has refused to answer that question. I just want to circle back to Brittany. I'm so proud of her. I thank her. I thank her for her courage and poise and power. I thank her for our relationship. Not only is this momentous for Brittany, but she helped shine a light on not only this conservatorship, which was corrupted by her father, James P. Spears, but she helped shine a light on conservatorships and guardianships from coast to coast, from California to New York. And that took a tremendous amount of insight, courage, and grace. If there are any questions, I'll take a couple of questions. How is Brittany feeling, and what's next for her? How soon will she get married, and will she report you? What's, what's next for Brittany, and this is the first time they, this could be said for about a decade, is up to one person, Brittany. I, I will say, I, I, I will say that Brittany has been put into a position through our collaboration and the work of my law firm to succeed. We have a safety net in place for Brittany, both on the personal side and on the financial side, as those of you who are in court understand. But Brittany, as of today, is a free woman and she's an independent woman, and the rest, with her support system, will be up to Brittany. We believe it was the right result. Brittany specifically requested that there be no mental evaluation, and the judge did not require it. We think it was the right result. I'm sorry? Do you think there will be a relationship between Brittany and the family? That, again, will be up to Brittany. Has Brittany ever been in the family?
whether Britney performs again, whether Britney performs again, will be up to Britney at the right time. I'm sorry. I haven't been asked, and that's not something I would get into right now. Well, as of today, as Judge Penny ruled on the record, her language was, in effect, the conservatorship of the person and the conservatorship of the estate are terminated effective today, subject to a couple of conditions subsequent. And what that means is we have set up a financial safety net for Brittany in terms of a new trust all of the assets that are outside of the existing trust will be transferred by the existing conservator of the estate who replaced Jamie Spears, who was suspended in grace, into that trust. So that's one safety net that's in place for Brittany. Where do you see her going with potential criminal or other ramifications for her family? Well, that's not something I'm going to comment on in detail, but anybody who saw the New York Times documentary and it was mocked by James Spears' attorney as a TV show. It wasn't a TV show. It was a highly vetted documentary. Or read the New York Times front page expose, knows that the conduct as alleged by the Times, which was corroborated by the Times, deserves investigation. I used to be a federal prosecutor. Now I'm just a private attorney. I don't have criminal investigative powers. What happens there will be up to law enforcement. Not up to me. I'm not going to comment on my discussions with Brittany. But you have she does know that. How much money did TriStar take from Brittany? That's what we've asked TriStar. How much do you think? I'm not going to comment. I'm not going to comment. But one would think that a business manager, if asked by their client, would respond and give them that number. Their response has been, well, it's in the accountings. I would ask, does TriStar treat all of their clients this way, or is it just Britney Spears? She's been bullied for a decade, and why TriStar is continuing to bully Britney Spears is a fair question. I don't have the answer to that. TriStar will have to answer that. Mr. Zabel has remaining powers in terms of winding up his responsibilities as reflected on the record. I'm not going to comment. I'm sorry? With Britney. She's aware of the result, though. That's up to Britney Spears. <laughs> it's an amendment to the existing trust. Terminated as of today. Mr. Rosenberg, how did you and Britney first find each other? How did she hire you and how did you felt bringing 13 years of what seems to be an injustice, to say the least, to life? I was proud to be in the right place at the right time. I'm not going to comment in terms of details in regard to how we got together. Has there been a family member that Britney has leaned on during this time? Not going to comment on that. hear the question, but uh, yes, the conservatorship was 13 years. Uh, Brittany herself testified in court, as everybody knows, both on June 23rd and July 14th, in regard to the abuse that she says she suffered at the hands of her father, James P. Spears. One other comment I'll make, unless there are any other specific questions, is this. Many um, journalists have uh, speculated or commented in regard to James P. Spears. Um, I haven't spoken with journalists on this particular point, but it is correct that we served a notice of deposition uh, to require James P. Spears to testify under oath on October 20th. That did not happen. He refused to appear. We served another deposition notice for him to appear under oath and answer questions asked by myself 
and my law firm on November 12th. He also did not appear, excuse me, on November 10th. He did not appear on November 10th either. If Brittany wants, if Brittany instructs, we will pursue James Spears' deposition. We will pursue the discovery that we served on him in the form of interrogatories, document requests, and other information we're seeking, both in regard to financial information, alleged financial misconduct, and the electronic surveillance Why issue. You can draw your own inference on that. I will say this. I will say this. I apologize. It's interesting that he has refused to cooperate because his lawyer, in his lawyer's filing, claimed that Mr. Spears would profusely cooperate. I can say this. They have not responded to one document request. They have not responded to one interrogatory, and they have refused thus far to appear for deposition under oath. A cross-examination of an individual or witness under oath at a deposition, any lawyer will tell you is how you find the truth. I'm looking forward to that deposition. Why he has not appeared, why he's ducking the deposition, is something he and his counsel will have to answer. I'm going to give the same boring answer, and that's up to Brittany. Those are Britney's communications. As well as other issues that are in the record. I've got a client who I need to speak with, and I just want to thank everybody for their support, the fans.